Ready? Now these white kegs weigh 40 pounds. And Roman Chuck having no problem with the first one. He really looks conservative here, trying to pace himself. Technique's pretty consistent. Remember that wall is 16 feet high, and those red kegs are 50 pounds apiece. All right, so he's sitting at five kegs. What does he need to do here to get this thing over? You know, he's really starting to muscle it up. You can get away with that on the lighter ones, but on the heavier ones, you've got to relax, use the whole body. So Roman Chuck credited with just five kegs. Well, a year ago, Travis Ortmeyer was tied for the lead in the final after two events, but his chances were derailed by injury. But the intense Texan is back and targeting a first World's Strongest Man title. This is absolutely the most brutal competition in the world. If you aren't mentally strong, you're not going to make it through. Uh, as far as focusing on the upcoming events, uh, getting your head right to you know, start those events, to just basically walk out on the field in front of all the cameras and all the people, swallow your fear, and produce the best that you can possibly do. Well, my individual goal this year is to get a little redemption for last year. I was in first, and I had first place locked. I know it, because I had my best events to go when I broke my ankle. And this year, to be the guy who brings it home while I'm at home in the USA. You know, I just, I want to be there. I want to do it. I want that crowd to go just in a frenzy when, uh, when I hold that gold trophy overhead. Please welcome the USA, Travis Ortmeier. So here he is, the 30-year-old from Cypress, Texas, Travis Ortmeier, currently in fifth place after one event. And Phil, this is time for him to grab some points here in the barrel toss. Ready? Todd, this is the event for him. This has been one of his signature events in the past. So aggressive, so efficient. Really finds the groove and just stays locked. What the? That's, that's not like Trav. He misses on a 45, and again, another miss. This is ugly. Well, this is all about angles. He's just too close to the wall. There he goes. Finally getting that groove back. Oh, my gosh. You know, there's so many things an athlete has to do. He has to place himself in front of the wall at just the perfect spot. He has to match the trajectory with that body placement relative to the wall. He's got to relax the hips and get the big swing at the bottom and then fire the whole body at once so that every part of the body works and so that it's not just the shoulders and the upper body powering the keg over the wall. That doesn't work well with the heavier keg. And Travis, in the past, has been an absolute master when it comes to this event. I couldn't be more shocked. Hopefully he can get all eight. Well, the gold ones weigh 55 pounds, and you see the frustration on his face. He is done. He'll be credited with six kegs, but those early misses really took their toll. Serbian Irvin Katona and Lawrence Chalet of England have both been to the final, but have yet to challenge for the title. Will this be the year they become contenders? They're up next in the keg toss when the Metric's World's Strongest Man returns to Wingate University. We've got him hooked up with a heart rate monitor, but I guarantee you, watching him in practice, he Ready? will absolutely attack this course. He makes quick work of the 40-pounders. He's already onto the 45. And those are complete. He's really getting a good swing. Just Relaxing just briefly enough to let the posterior chain allow the keg to go all the way back. Fires the body all at once. So efficient, so powerful. All eight yeah. kegs in a time of 21.88, and his heart rate maxed out at 177. You know, he was so efficient. He was very relaxed. He knew exactly where he was. He knew where the wall was. He was able to really gauge exactly the trajectory he needed to launch the barrels. This is England's Lawrence Cholet. He wants to become the first Metrics World's Strongest Man from that country since 1989. Currently in second place overall, we put Lawrence to the test under the microscope in the Metrics Science of Strength. Almost none of the indicators really pegging or standing out, and that's kind of Lawrence's story as well. Consistency and competency. Ready? 
So the mark to beat is all eight kegs in the time of 21.88 seconds. We just saw that from Serbia's Irvin Katona and Lawrence off to a quick start, making quick work of the 40 pounders. He's onto the 45ers. Looks so rock solid with those first four. Continues with number five. He knows exactly where he needs to be to get it over the wall. Well, it's not going to be Irvin Katona, but this is all about points. Remember, just two men will move out of this group into the World's Strongest Man final. I think he was pretty fast with those first six. And he gets number seven. Really excited to have done that, Todd. This is 55 pounds in hand. Maybe just a little too much today. Tries a different technique there, and that one definitely goes awry. And he will stop at seven kegs for Lawrence Chalet. You know, not the top result, but a great result nonetheless. Takes so much to get it perfect and really smoke this event. So if you can't do that, this is a performance to be proud of. Back-to-back -back wins for Irvin Gatona, who was the only man to hoist all eight kegs over the wall to get the job done here at the keg toss. Really, really impressive work there. Katona wins in a time of 21.88 seconds, all eight kegs. Chalet of England completed seven kegs to take second. Ortmeier was in third, and Ukraine's Romanchuk takes fourth. For the second straight event, it was Katona and Chalet finishing one and two. Katona tops the leaderboard with 12 points, and it's Chalet with 10. Ortmeier remains off the pace in fourth, but he has four events remaining to make a push for the final. After seeing Katona and Ortmeier fail, he had to feel a lot better yeah, seeing okay. Perzol manage to get two. That can give him just a little bit of confidence and a little bit of faith in what he might be able to do. He still looks really tentative, though. He's going to take his time and really figure out the feel of this. This is much different from the barbell and plates that these guys have at home. You can see how slow he's moving, really just trying to feel it out. So he is the new leader, Roman Chuck with four, and that time, Phil, he just touched one side. So not going to give him credit there. So Sergey Roman Chuck will be your new leader with four repetitions. What did he do wrong? I'm not sure that he did anything wrong. This is just a big, awkward, unfamiliar apparatus. The first two guys had a really tough time. Prejol managed to get two. Romanchuk doubled that result. Maybe the next two guys will progress just a little bit farther. So we've got our final two competitors. First up will be 29-year-old Espen Auna from Trondheim, Norway. Now he's in fifth place after two events, but remember, the winner of each event gets six points. So each rep is really going to count for the high mark here. It'll be interesting to see how conservative Alna is at just kind of feeling this apparatus out. All of these guys are familiar with the squat, of course, but with a conventional barbell and plates and a power rack back home, this is a big difference. And he's successful at one. Remember, that's 715 pounds. You know, he's looking a lot more comfortable out of the gate. When the bar touches down, it's pretty much touching the stop simultaneously. He looks very balanced, very smooth, very in control. And he's tied for the lead. Espen out of Norway now with four. And his tempo is just a lot smoother, a lot faster. So he is your new leader. Espen out of bows out at five repetitions. So he will do no worse than second place in this event. Good result. It looked almost as though he could be in a rack squatting at home with a conventional barbell. But this is anything but that huge, huge apparatus. Our final competitor from England, this is Lawrence Chalai. He's in second place after two events. Now remember, everyone's trying to get in the top two spots because the top two men move on to the final. And Chalet certainly knows that. Did you see how intense he looked? Huge opportunity for Chalet, and he looks very comfortable, as as comfortable as you can be under 715 pounds. And look at this. Rock solid, fast tempo. 
He's tied the lead. He's smiling. And he gets the win. He's going to do one more. And Chalet gets eight repetitions and gets the win. Man, that looked really easy for him. So your winner in the squat lift, Lawrence Chalet of England. I think this was a story of, in addition to Lawrence just being a great squatter, he was really able to benefit from the other guys going before him. And our winner's standing by with Kaz. Lawrence, I always knew you were a squatter, but you really handled that weight. Yeah, I had a bit of a point to prove then, and show who's got the strongest legs in the world. One day it was you, but now it's my time. It's nice to see that kind of power and energy and enthusiasm come out of an athlete. You really brought it to this event. Great job. Thank you very much. Number one with the legs, baby. So the squat lift goes in the win column for England's Lawrence Chalet, Espen Auna second, Roman Chuck in third, and Paul Perjol in fourth. Travis Ortmeier had zero reps before having to withdraw from the competition. And with the win in two seconds and three events, Chalet is topping the overall scoreboard at the halfway point. Katona falls to second by virtue of failing to complete a single rep and receiving no points.